everyone and welcome back to the channel where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware for your Teenage Engineering OPXY. The first thing that you want to do is check what your current firmware version is. And you do that by turning on the OPXY and paying attention to the splash screen. When it loads up at the bottom of the splash screen in an incredibly small font, it'll tell you what the current version is for your firmware. You could see that I am at 1.0.9. Once you know what your current firmware version is, you can navigate over to the Teenage Engineering website using your computer. You want to go to the section up at the top usually that'll say support, and then from there, find the downloads section. Next, in the download section, you should be able to find the OPXY listed there, and it probably will have a firmware version number next to it. You're gonna click that, and once you go to that, OPXY page, you can now scroll down and see what the different firmware versions are. You can go all the way to the most recent firmware version. That's probably where you should be at. You do not have to skip or go through multiple. You don't have to go through all the multiple firmware versions. You can go all the way up to the most current one. You're going to click that file and download it in your web browser to probably download to your default folder, which might be the downloads folder or maybe onto your desktop. You just want to be able to identify where that file is and keep note of it. Now you can also use the MIDI way to uh, update the firmware for your OPXY. You would do that through the web browser. That works perfectly fine. I just find that if you don't know how to enable MIDI through your web browser, you could run into some problems or some stability issues. I think this is the easiest way to update the firmware. Next, back on your OPXY, you're going to want to start with it in the powered off position and now you're gonna turn it on, but when you turn it on, you need to hold down the COM COM button. So hold that down and turn it on, and you should get to the Teenage Engineering bootloader screen. This is gonna give you three options. You're going to need to select number one, update the firmware, and you're gonna do that by selecting the track one button. So once you do that, now you need to connect your OPXY to your computer. You could do that with the included cable that they give you. Um, you're gonna need something that has, that allows data transfer, that's got USB-C on the one side, as well as whatever you're gonna to need to connect it to your computer. So if that's USB-C, that works just fine. The first time that you connect it to your computer, it may take a second to load a driver, but it should recognize the OPXY as an external hard drive or disk. What you need to do is just grab that firmware file and drag it into the OPXY as a essentially a flash drive. So it will then move that file over. Once it has loaded the firmware file onto the OPXY, you do need to eject the OPXY. So for a Mac, you would probably drag this over to the trash and initiate and eject on a PC. You would click, uh, right click it and then eject. And then once you do that, you could see that the OPXY will prepare the firmware update process. All right, once you get to this phase of the update process at the very bottom, it'll say done. Please restart your OPXY. You can do that by powering the OPXY off, wait two seconds, and then turn it back on. Wait for the splash screen, and you should see that it updated the firmware. All right, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you again next time. All right, goodbye.